What is going on everybody? So today I got to talk about polymorphism in Python. Polymorphism is a programming concept. It's a Greek word that means to have many forms or faces. Poly means many, morph means form. In programming, an object can take one of many forms. There's two ways to achieve polymorphism. One is through inheritance. An object could be treated of the same type as a parent class. There's also duck typing, which we'll talk about in the next topic. In this video, we're more focused on inheritance. What we'll do in this video is create a class of shape. We'll write pass as a placeholder. We will create a class of circle, which will inherit from shape. Again, writing pass. Class square inherits from shape. Class triangle, which inherits from shape. If I was to create a circle object, circle equals circle. Our circle identifies as a circle. And since our circle class inherits from the shape class, our circle is also considered a shape. It has two forms. It's a circle and it's a shape. But our circle isn't a square or a triangle. That could also apply to our square class. Our square is a square. Our square is also considered a shape. But our square is not a circle or a triangle. Those are two possible forms for our square. It's a square and a shape. So let's say we would like to create a list of shapes. What do they all have in common? Well, they're all shapes. A descriptive name for this list would be shapes equals an empty list. I will instantiate a circle object, a square object, and a triangle object. Our circle is a circle and a shape. Our square is a square and a shape. Our triangle is a triangle and a shape. Each of these objects has two forms or two faces. Let's fill in some of these classes. Let's say that with our shape class, we will define an area method. Define area. I'm gonna turn this into an abstract method. I'll just write pass. To work with abstract classes, we need to import that. From ABC, import capital ABC, as well as abstract method. Preceding the area method, I will add a decorator of abstract method. Our circle, square, and triangle classes, they're all considered shapes. They inherit from this class. We need to define an area method for each since they're all considered a shape. Every shape has an area. With our class of circle, let's define a constructor. Define init. We will pass in one argument. A radius. What is the radius of the circle? Assign an attribute of radius equals the radius we receive. Let's do this with square. Define init one parameter. The length of a side. Self dot side equals side. Then triangle. Define init. We have two parameters. Base and height. Self.base equals base. Self.height equals height. All right, now let's finish defining these area methods for each class. We will return 3.14 times self.radius to the power of 2. So given a radius, that's how to calculate the area of a circle. Then with our square, define area, we will return self dot side to the power of two. Then with our triangle, define area, return self dot base times self dot height times 0 0.5. Now we have to pass in some arguments. For our circle, we need a radius. I'll pick four. For the square, the length of a side will be five. Then our triangle, the base will be six, the height will be seven. We're going to write a loop to iterate through our shapes. For every shape in shapes, then we're going to print 
for every shape called the area method. And that would give me these numbers. If you would like, you can format the output. I'll just use an F string. I'll add centimeter squared. Much better. What if we were to create a class that's completely unrelated to shapes? I will create a class of pizza. I will define a constructor. To construct a pizza object, we need a topping and a radius. What is the radius of the pizza? Self.topping equals topping self dot radius equals radius within my list of shapes i'll add a pizza object but i have to pass in a topping such as pepperoni and what is the radius of the pizza let's say 15 centimeters so our pizza our pizza class doesn't have an area method here's what happens when i run this we get an attribute error Pizza object has no attribute area. Our pizza object is considered a pizza, but it is not considered a shape. It does not inherit from the shape class at the top here. You know what? A pizza is circular. It could be considered a circle. So how about this? Let's take the pizza class. It will inherit from the circle class. And within our circle class, we're already assigning the radius to the radius attribute. So instead of doing that here within the constructor for our pizza class, let's call the super constructor. Super, which refers to the parent, use its constructor, then pass in the radius we receive. Let's see if this works now. That does. Here is the area of our pizza. Our pizza is considered a pizza. It inherits from the circle class, so it's also considered a circle. And our circle class inherits from the shape class. Our pizza has three forms. Our pizza is considered a pizza. It's also considered a circle, and it's also considered a shape. It would make sense for it to fit into this list of shapes because our pizza also identifies as a shape. So that's polymorphism, everybody. It's a Greek word meaning to have many forms or faces. Poly meaning many, morph meaning form. In Python, there's two ways to achieve polymorphism, one through inheritance, an object could be treated of the same type as a parent. And there's also duck typing, which we'll discuss more in the next topic. Stay tuned for that. And well, everybody, that's polymorphism in Python.